So guys, if you've seen the reviews about the Ryzen 9 7950X, you know that this is a real power hungry CPU. So you probably don't expect us to put an air cooler on top of it. But today we are actually testing this Xilence M906. If this can handle the Ryzen 9, it can handle everything. So let's get building it. So let's do a nice unboxing and let's see what's inside. They give you a QR code with the user manual. So that's nice. Then we have the actual cooler in full black. Oh, it looks really nice. Here we have the mounting brackets. Okay. They give you the tool to mount it, which is really nice. I wish more people did it. Then they give you, well, of course, all the different mounting brackets for the different sockets. This thing works with every Intel socket and every AMD socket too. And they also give you their silence paste, which I already tested and was really nice. Then on this other package, it's an all black fan uh, with those things to increase airflow, those lines you can see there. Pretty good looking. Let's get mounting it. So I scanned the QR code of, with our model and they gave us all the specs and how to mount it. So that's actually really nice. To mount it on AM5, you have to take out those clips. I personally prefer the four point mounting mechanism compared to the two points one. Spacers on top of it. We can actually mount those things, long screws. So it is now time to apply the paste on this Ryzen 9 7950X and it's the first time I do it so I think I will do just the usual good old dot method so let's go and I think this will be plenty. So now we can actually mount the cooler. For the fan they give you um, those things, they also give you four in case you want to add another fan on the back, which you can always do. For this test, we're going to use a single fan. Now let's connect to the actual fan on the CPU fan slot, and then we can cable manage those cables under it, so you cannot see them. And honestly, I think this all black combo looks really nice. So let's test it out. So by giving it a first look in idle, this thing is completely whisper quiet. Now we'll try to shove the phone as close to the fan as possible, but you literally cannot hear it. It's really nice. So guys, here we are running a stress test with the cooler mounted, and this is what it sounds like at full speed. It's definitely noticeable, but nothing annoying. I am very pleased with how the fan sounds. Now let's take a look at the actual performance of this thing. So as a quick start, I've been running the CPU-Z stress test and also the benchmarks. Now you might be wondering, why are you testing these? Well, it's because they give you a score that you can compare to the expected score of this CPU and you can actually see if there is any throttling because this Ryzen is expected to go at 95 degrees. This is expected behavior, okay? And as you can see, we are managing to sustain 5.1 gigahertz across all 16 cores with an air cooler, without throttling, as you can see. 5.1 across the board. And this is maxed out. It's not gonna slow down, but now we will test Prime 95 and see what it does. Small FFT, so here it is. And let's see what frequency it runs at and what happens temperature-wise. Okay, we are at 4.8 gigahertz so far, and it's holding at around 80 degrees, so that's actually extremely impressive. Okay, so I've also run a quick fire strike score, and now obviously this is the biggest, <laughs> the biggest bottleneck ever, because, uh, well, we have a Ryzen 9 with a 3050 in a gaming benchmark, but we have a nice 44K in physics, and the maximum temperature reached was 91.3 degrees on the CCD, which is actually really nice uh, for this kind of CPU. So in games, it holds its own very well, this air cooler. So guys, here we are with the conclusion. And well, to answer the initial question, can you run a Ryzen 9 7950X with an air cooler? Yes, you can, pretty well, I might say. Uh, it was pretty quiet, even though, again, they have this thing of running at 95 degrees all the time. 
and so the fan runs at full speed all the time, pretty much. Uh, it was extremely quiet, at least with this kind of fan that we find on the Xilence M906. So I was really happy with the results. I think uh, this will open up many possibilities to build uh, budget PCs around the new Ryzen chips, because um, if we can do this on the 7950X, imagine what we can do on a 7700X or a 7700. It means they are very efficient chips and they are easy to cool, which is actually good. Even though they boost so high with the temperature, it doesn't mean they are uh, extremely high power consumption wise. So that's good. But now let's talk a bit about this specific cooler as well. Again, the Xilence M906. Now, this thing was great. You've seen the building experience. It was extremely smooth. It comes with its own thermal paste and you have to apply it, so it's not pre-applied, which I prefer. I don't like pre-applied paste, personally. Um, and again, they give you the tool to mount it. It's compatible with AM5, AM4, LGA2011, every Intel socket that exists, pretty much. So, really happy about it. But, would I recommend it for a build? Well, that really depends on the price. And this thing comes in at 50 euros. 50 bucks! Guys, I think it's the cheapest air cooler that is this big that you can buy right now. This thing, and I am gonna say it right now, has performance comparable to the Noctua NHD15. If you buy an NHD15, that's a bit bigger, so it has a bit more thermal capacity, but if you buy the smaller models with a single fan, this thing is comparable, absolutely. And remember, you can add another fan on this thing. They already give you um, the brackets, which also means you can use a different fan in case you want RGB, because why is it so cheap? Because it does not have RGB, so they can, you know, save a bit there, but the fan included is really nice uh, performance-wise. You've seen the design with the lines on the blades, it's very well made. But you can also add another one from Xylus themselves or from another brand, uh, to make it perform even better, or you can just add two RGB fans to make it look very good. So off camera, I have tested it on an i7-12700 as well, because again, on the Ryzen you don't really see the temperature because it just goes high all the time. And with an i7-12700, even on Prime 95 small FFT, this thing was keeping it under 80 degrees. It was staying in the 60s in game, which is extremely, extremely good, guys. If you've seen my other builds on the channel, you know that even um, a true 40 millimeters all-in-one cooler from a good brand has the same performance. So going air cooler is something that is often overlooked because of looks, but I think it should be done more often. They are usually the best value for money in the new market, and I can definitely recommend the Xilence M906, and I can also recommend it on Ryzen, and I can also recommend air cooling a Ryzen 9 3750X. If you liked the video, drop a like and a sub, and see you in the next one, guys. Bye.